Karens are getting way out of control these days and just stir things up for no reason and act as victims. Here are Karens Karening. This old man no longer knows what's actionable. He gets mad at his neighbor for parking close to his car and tries to run him over and hit his car, then threatens him. But it was clear that the old man was mad for a whole different reason, probably his neighbor's big blue eyes. You were just this. You were wrong. I don't know, Gerard. I hold was on. wrong to get it pissed off. But I you, know you were. You're wrong to do that. To do what? Like leave my car in Danielle's spot? Yes, because I was there. You were cleaning it up. You were doing it on purpose. Then you got on the phone, and I, I said to you at one moment, I said I should have caught on right then and said, no, no, I know what this is. I know what this is. And I said, wait a minute, I can't understand why this is happening. I know Danielle. We have a mutual friend. I met her parents. Everybody's nice. Even had an accident on the car one time. Everything's okay, you know? And then you, I don't know, you were nervous what happened, but then you started in on this old man who had... I have nothing against you, Gerard. I Maybe, like, you're, but you you're don't know nice how guy. to behave. I'm sure somebody told you, somebody gave you that. This is how to piss the guy off, because you are. I, I, have, I, I don't know anybody that knows you. If you, you ever do something like that again... I just might institute an action just to show you off. What I got a trial next week. I'm going back into practice, and you know for who? For me alone. Okay. I don't understand. Like I don't understand what you're saying. Like I'm saying I don't. Put is up that a the... threat or? Yes, is... it's a threat. If my rights are not respected, I intend what to take legal, leg, legal action. What rights? For me to park a little bit closer have, to the building? I have a right to be at peace. No, this was not what you did. I'm referring to the first conversation. The second was just more bull. And. You're cleaning your car and you're telling me, no, as soon as I'm finished, when it was easier to be next to that, you're doing it on purpose. The whole thing was on purpose. And don't get there with your big blue eyes, you know. You know that most, uh, you know, and I've got some too, you know. I've got eyes like yours. Well, y you know what, Gerard? Like, I thought you were a cool guy. Yeah. Like, you know, not, but I have good. nothing. I Gerard, I have nothing I'm not against cool you. I'm, oh, yes, you are. But, because your actions speak louder than words. That's so was, I'm, so I'm, just, I'm just saying, um, was that Listen. a threat that you were, yes. you were putting on me? Yes, that's a threat. It's it a is? threat of legal action. That's okay. a fact. All right. That's I have you on videotape, so. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. You, you can have it all on videotape. Yep. Okay, and have it listened. And yep. Go to the police and check it out. Yep. Because you mis misbehaved. You had your car. I misbehaved you, because you mis I was a little bit over no, towards no, you your car. No, you misbehaved. It started when you, you told called. me to move my car you because you called me one night and you were in, in because you told you left us a note saying yes. to call you in yes. regards to parking. Yes. and that's what I did. Yes, and, and right away, why are you getting all defensive right about away, it? Because. What if I had taped your conversation? You'd look silly now, wouldn't you? No, actually, I wouldn't. I and I do have that that recording. Like I still have that recording. Yeah. So well, listen to it again. You I were, yep. You were not nice. No. Okay. And thank you for telling me you have a recording. Yeah. Because if it ever goes forward, of course I'll ask you to produce it. So yeah. Save it. Okay. Eh? And that one too. Yeah. Sounds good. And and you know what? If anything does happen, I'm gonna I have witnesses saying that you tried running me over and hitting my car. I have witnesses saying that. So you know what? No, you squealed your tires? Not true. And you squealed your tires? Yeah, I have it on videotape, buddy. So you know what? Go do whatever you mean when the car stalled. No, when you were over there in Joel's spot and you floored it towards me, your tires spun, and I told you go ahead, hit my car, that'll be another claim. You came this tw close towards hitting me. I had to jump back into my vehicle so you wouldn't hit me. Okay, have a nice day, Gerard. Yeah, have a nice day. Again. This anti-masker starts drama when employees refuse to serve him if he doesn't wear his mask. And I'm not one for traumatizing stuff. I'm actually anti that This woman right here told me my grandfather died four days ago. I can't get out of the plane. But I pulled Allentown, Pennsylvania. AVE! No, I'm not going to shut up. You guys need to call security. Call security. Oh, yeah. When, when, the, when the manager comes, she is me. Then I, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Greyhound employee misspelled the customer's name on the ticket and refused to reprint the ticket with her correct name. Where are you going? You don't change from Charlotte? You don't change back from Winston-Salem? Hey, you don't know where you're hey. going? Is there a problem? Yeah, she can't come back up on my house. Where's no, she going? She made up her mind. All she had to do was Well, look, you see, 
when I go out my system, it knocks out everything. You mm -hmm. keep and I keep going back and forth and stuff. You don't know where you're going. You know, Winston Salem and Short is two different places. It's a hard ticket. Ain't nobody no no make a difference. Yes, it does. They say that your name has to be correct. Okay, look, ma'am. You it you has to be, know what? My name is no. Oh, you're not getting a ticket at all now. I'm going to refund this ticket. You can go back to Cleveland. And since you want to play, I'll hey. play. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I'm you saying really? you spelled my name wrong. Look, That's and right. I'm telling you it don't make no difference. Oh, okay. Well, as long as it don't make no difference, then I'm give me the ticket you. back. No, give me the ticket back. Look, I was getting ready to cancel out this ticket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, since you was going to cancel it out. Um, and look. My, it says Fadler. Okay, no, you so making that's... a big deal out of something. Come on, <laughs> come on, come on. Have me that ticket back. I refund the money. You um, you can't make up your mind where you going. Mm -hmm. I will refund this money and hand it back to you. You go back to Cleveland, Tennessee. <laughs> okay, well, Cleveland, Tennessee. So you're telling, so you're denying. No, no, uh, you you want to so argue you're... about this? I didn't no. argue with you. You're you're mm -hmm. denying me to no. have my name spelled correctly. Uh, uh, no, I'm having the ticket. I Greyhound. refund the ticket. You can no. go back to Cleveland, Tennessee. No, hold this ticket. Nope. Mm -hmm. Hold this ticket. No, nope. so, no, buy. don't give her the ticket back. No, nope. what I'm bye trying bye. to say I'm is, I'm walking away. I'm going down the door. I'm walking away. I ain't telling you no more. <laughs> so, so we. I ain't so telling you, you no more. So you're telling. I ain't telling me you. I ain't telling you no more. I ain't telling okay. you no more. <laughs> I ain't telling you no more. <laughs> bye. It don't matter about the name spell wrong. No. It don't Are matter. you sure? We it. Okay. It's not gonna affect you. Okay. You pay for a seat, so they're gonna get you a seat. Okay. Are Are y'all gonna be here when um y'all will be off work? It's at, I think she said come at 8.45. But see, what I'm saying is you never disrespect the person that's trying to purchase a ticket. And um, I will be I will be following up with whoever's in charge here. I videotaped the whole conversation. She is on camera. And I have asked her nicely to change my ticket for the pri to try to get a price difference. So uh, we, will, we will deal with this on a separate... We will deal with this on a separate occasion because you're not gonna, you're you're not supposed to. Now I want one. 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 Okay, well, well, what I'm saying is I don't, I don't have a problem with leaving. I don't have a problem with leaving, but you, you can call me. No, you're, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. What, well, well, whatever, you, whatever you need to do. Whatever, whatever you need to do, ma'am. I'm just trying to make sure that you, we got to be clear. Um, what's going on right now? These two employees found out their buddy is making more than them and asked for a raise. What happened next? Boss being a cheapskate fired them instantly. Have your things and leave. Are you classifying that you are firing me on the spot? I'm firing you on the spot. Can you I can get tell that unemployed? Can I get that in paper and in writing? You can tell I'm going to I'm gonna call the police in about 30 seconds. You do you want to do it, Tito? Okay, very good. You can call the police. I'm not trespassing. This is what happens when you ask for a raise. Like, I'm sorry, but you really shouldn't work for A and B S in Pleasant Valley. Yeah, I've worked here for seven years without a raise. What kind of boss are you? You're being paid nine fifty, eight seventy five to like what? People that have been here seven years, man. Like, I want to show my loyalty to this place. I enjoy this job. All right. But the fact, that the way that you run this place, is you can support me all you like, my friend. But you please leave. Tia, you, you guys, are we staying or are we leaving? We're not leaving. Like, if you want to come. Leaving my premises, you're trespassing. You're no longer. I am still an employee. You're no longer until you show me a piece of paper. Authorized that I'm to be on my bill. Until you show me a piece of paper that I'm no longer an employee, right. I'm staying. Really, I'm getting the cops called on me. Okay. I think we need to be. Call the 
than the cops. You can't even be a manager. Jesus Christ. You spoke to your staff. We are your staff. Jesus Christ. Yep. We asked for a raise. That's all we did. We're making minimum wage. I've been here for seven years. Karen couple goes on a wild rant after their car gets towed by their neighbor for parking close to his. Hi! Hi! I'm calling the cops right now! For what? Because you're psycho! You don't videotape kids up at Bailey! No, what are you talking about? This is because I had a car towed from out in front of my car. Okay, do it then, Bob! Hey, Bob! I will press charges against you when you call the cops! Go ahead, Bob. Go ahead, Bob. Or what? Or what? This gas manager takes pity on a young boy and gives him a job only for the boy to steal from him. When he gets asked, instead of apologizing, he goes bonkers on the other dude for ratting him out. The young boy's still stuck in that hood mentality where snitching should be an issue as well. So, Nick, tell me everything that just happened. Tell me it again. I told you, man. Little shorty. Be around here that's working for you. Yeah. He stole the whole case of uh, juice. Stole the and whole case of juice? Yeah, he put it in the garbage can out here. And so some little dude, one of his dudes, came and got the juice out and, and walked off with it. So you're saying he basically, well, it was like a setup, like where he takes the juice, put it in the garbage can, threw it in the dumpster, and then his friend, what case was it? What case was it? It was the juice. It was the drink. The, 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 the Mr. Pure? The Mr. Like a whole that. case. A whole so, he put, so he put a whole case in the garbage can. Right. Yeah. You think if I call him right now, he'll actually admit to it? Yeah, he should. Hey, hey, Ernie. Hey, check it out real quick. Ernie. What's up? Check it out real quick. I look, so you think I'm going to admit to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so 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 what you doing? Who told Nick, you Nick, did he I mean, why, why is you telling him some good... You believe this so, shit? I mean, sh I would believe it. You did it plenty of times. Plenty of times? That shit only happened one time. You know what? It's cool. I did take the... Sh you a sh Disrespective. Don't, 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 no. No, 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 but you're not about to disrespect him. But you're not about to disrespect him because he told the truth. You feel me? He's I gave you plenty bro. of chances. He's oh, black as hell. I, I am. He the same damn that, what, color what, what, as me. He's not true color. Anything? What that got to do anything? Come on, bro, man. You bro, can't bro, be thinking like that. You can't be thinking like that. Bro. Like that. Right, yeah, I understand that. I understand that. But you know I ain't finna pay you. Like, don't think you can just walk out just like that. You feel me? I don't know how much you took to the garbage can. I don't know what you're talking about, but I need You know what I'm talking about. You're a straight hoe. You go, you go for today. You go. I appreciate you. Go ahead. You go. Come on, Joe. So, so you think, so you think I'm gonna pay you after what you did? Pay me, he snitched. I don't care about that. I don't care about him snitching. You don't care. I don't care about him snitching. What they got to do with me? I see if you call me though. That's benefiting me. That's benefiting me. Alright, bro. Alright, bro. It ain't gonna happen no boat. No, no, no. Ain't none of that. Ain't gonna happen no more. You gone, my boy. What you mean, you go? Gone. You gone. Yes, bro. Buy him for what? You telling you, me the truth? Telling you the truth? To, I told you. He watching I me told for. you. I told you. I told you. We were all working together as a team in this gas station. All ain't none right, of that. Put the, you ain't know none of that. Put that in the garbage can. Take money out. I'm done with you, my boy. You I gone. Bet. I ain't gonna take me another case. Shit, I ain't paying you regardless. Go ahead. You ain't taking. You ain't taking. Hey, let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that, my boy. Let me get that. Man booked a hotel through a third party and complained to the front desk employee that the room is small and it can't fit him and his family. I mean, how can four people not be able to sleep on a king bed plus a sofa pullout couch? This Kevin was just looking to fight, but the employee handled the situation like a boss. We have two kids, two adults. Yeah. The reservation on our phone is clear, but we reserved. Yeah. What do you expect us to do? Well, with that one, we could get you checked in. It came in as a king suite reservation, so it has a king bed and a sofa pull-out couch. We expect this to be that. We, we, we have two kids and us. We can't all sleep in a king bed. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I understand. It's just it's the way that Booking.com sent us the reservation, so all that we have is that, and we're sold out for tonight. Okay, I get that. So what do you expect us to do? That's my question. Well, that's I what I'm saying. It. Yes, so we could either check you into the room or we could cancel the reservation. That's the only two and options. And sleep in our car? No, I'm not. Yeah, I mean, where else are we gonna go? 
Are there any other Holiday Inn Express hotels you can check us into? Is I don't have the power to do that, but there are Holiday Inn Expresses in Bloomington. So you're not even going to help us. You're going to say, take the room as it is, or you're on your own. What I can do to help you guys is get you guys checked into the room that has the king bed and the sofa pullout couch. But apart from that, we don't have any other rooms to check you guys into. If it's regarding what you guys reserved, you would have to call booking.com so that they could assist you with something that happened on their end. But this is just the information that we've received from booking.com. Who hasn't checked in what else is available worth more beds? We don't have any other rooms available. Who hasn't checked in yet? These rooms are reserved. I can't take them from somebody that's already reserved a room. You gave somebody our room, right? The way it was supposed to be reserved? No, because we held the room that we had the information for, which is the King Suite. That's what Booking.com sent over to us. So we kept that room for you guys. How did you think four people would fit in that room? I mean, when, when, when you see it come in, don't you go, hmm, this doesn't make sense? No, because Booking.com sends us the information, so that's the reservation, and we hold it as it is. So you think, so you think four of us can sleep in that room? That's your suggestion. I, I'm not too sure how you guys were going to, you know, do the setup in there. We just have the reservation as it was sent into us. You have no other alternatives to solve it. We're completely sold out for tonight. <clears throat> I'm just stepping in. Like you have a king bed and a pull off bed, right? Yeah. You have two beds and yeah. four kids. Two kids and us. And that's it's all. none of your business either. What are you doing jumping into this? It's not well, a, look, I mean, I don't think that it's. It's too bad. You know, yeah, yeah, shut up. Uh, that's not really respectful. I think we can just go ahead and cancel your reservation. Then what are we going to do? You know, I'm not too sure, but there are a lot of hotels in the area. Why don't you just sit tight for a second? I will. I'll be here till 11. This homie matched Walmart's employee energy real quick after the employee yells at him to stay away from the clearance area. Who do you think is a Karen here? When you're told you can't look at the ring. When you're told you can't look at the ring. What are you going to do? You going to put your hands on me? I'm looking. I'm trying to talk. I can't look you at the stuff. Man, I can't. Right I can't. Head. I can't look at the stuff. You got me feeling uncomfortable. Oh, she need to. Need I'm waiting on the manager. But you can go wait on no, the manager. No, I can wait right in the manager. She got a oh, problem. Baby, you don't. You don't. Swing me. Swing. You work here. You're employee. Yeah. Get a motherfucking manager over here. need to get her under She needs to get fucking fired. I got it all on camera, homie. This manager stood up for his worker and refused to deliver the food to the customer who was being disrespectful towards the employee for delaying his order. Be yelling at cashier over an order that was late. And I already told, told her what happened. So again, if y'all have a problem, call DoorDash. I already called DoorDash. I already called DoorDash. Yo, if he has an order, y'all can't book the block. I can't. We can. Huh? I we can't. can. I have the right to I deny can. somebody that was disrespectful to my workers for just an order being late. But, or, but the order wasn't just late. The order was being late. Y'all didn't even have the order. The order we had. Yeah, he was rude. So it was he working rude in the back. Y'all so. told me y'all didn't have it. No, it was working in the back. Y'all told me y'all didn't I even looked in the system. So again, I'm not going to give you the order. Argue as much as you want, but I'm not going to give you the order. He's already blacklisted in our site. Tomorrow we're going to remove him. He won't be able to pick up orders here anymore. Well, I just like Buddha, so I think Buddha was this woman could avoid the whole commotion if she just said the whole order is hers. She sounds like a Karen ready to start something. Hi, Pepio. Hi, can I get an extra large triple triple? Uh, friend, you want a coffee? If you're asking for the man outside, we cannot. They, he, he did not ask me for anything. He's my friend. And I've called corporate on Sunday and they actually inform me that I can buy a homeless man a coffee. So I'm recording you. I suggest you give me the two extra large triple triples. But 
You're not serving him. I'm in a vehicle and I'm paying for two coffees. You're not serving him. I know him personally and you can't tell me that I can't buy my friend a coffee. I know him personally. Okay, so for future reference, we can't give us the different police. That's okay. I got this all I'm recording for corporate. They asked me to record the next time I come back. Karen gets pissed at the employee for touching her child's hand, but still pays to go to a haunted place. You put your hand me. I'm not doing that. If you harassing me and yelling at me, I can get my manager on you guys. She's a toy. She's a toy. She's a toy. She's a toy. She was taking a picture with a puppy and she got her hand. She apologized. Well, and you're the jerk holding court. So. Oh, no. she might take oh my God. And she went in. She said, don't take pictures. She's going to have to put her hand on. I know. Did you just say you apologize? She's not supposed to touch the phone. She's not supposed to touch the phone. Male Karen proves to be a nut job after blocking the road and starts talking gibberish towards the driver. Move out of the way, you're blocking the whole road. Yeah, so much. What's wrong with you? None of you are going anywhere. What is wrong with you? In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I come against you, Satan. I like come against you and I bind you. What the, the fuck is going Jesus on? Jesus Christ. Can you please just move out of the road? No, I'm not. Why? What's your reason for blocking the road? Okay, I'm I'm not speeding, so I don't understand why I'm. At... What? Okay, all right. See you later, mate. Have fun. You nut job. This woman lets her dog off the leash, and it charged another woman and her dog. Where she's told to either control her dog or put it on a leash, she started carrying towards the woman, and that's when the battle of Karen started. Ma'am, if you can't control your if you can't control your animal. If you can't control your animal, it shouldn't be off a leash. I hear every day, every day. And that's fine. That's fine. But you know what? Uh, he came back to me, and you guys act like he's really going to kill you. Your dog. Okay, well, you don't know what my dog is, uh, Is okay? You've been telling me that. You've been telling me that. You told me that the last time that you were here. All right, yeah, yeah. But you know what? You see what I'm doing, right? What, that you're leaving? I'm leaving so that you can take your dog for a walk. That you can take your dog now. I come every day, so if you don't come every day, then I'm giving you the opportunity to not worry about my dog. I already told you the people that bring their dogs here normally bring their dogs and let them play ball. Okay, well, appreciate the conversation, ma'am. Yeah, well, I just appreciate that. I'm going to leave. I just got here, but I'm going to leave. All right, no one, no one told you to. No one told you to. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know the kind of you don't know the kind of I've been through. So to have your dog charge us from across the field, just stay the over there. Stay the over there. Don't you get close to me. Yeah, yeah. Don't get close to me. Look, I have your dog just charged us from across the street. Okay. Okay. And I called him back, and I'm leaving. So what's the problem? I don't know. You're the one who's getting close to me. I'm in my. Car. Well, I just, I just want to make sure that you understand that uh, I'm taking my dog. No one asked you to leave. So no one asked you to leave. So I'm not keeping him on a leash. So, like I said, I'm here every day. I'm here every day around this time. And so are usually other people with their dogs. And that's fine. Usually other people have control over their animals. If you can't have control over your animal, it shouldn't be off a leash. As soon as I called him, he came back, right? Yeah, last time? You remember last time? He saw your dog play. He just wants to play. Okay, well, my dog doesn't like to play. My dog doesn't like to play. If your dog likes other dogs, take him to the dog park. I understand your dog's vicious. He's not vicious. He just doesn't like other dogs. You want me all up in your face? No, you wouldn't like that. You don't like strangers coming up to you. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, this lady had her dog off a leash in a public park, and it charged us. It charged us. Yep, ma'am. Yep, but people have, people have trauma, ma'am. People have trauma. That's fine. That's fine. He can keep watching. He can keep watching. This is just between you and me. Don't bring other people into this. Sh
Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And that's fine, ma'am. No one asked you to leave. No one asked you to leave. All we're asking is for you to have some control over your damn animal. <laughs> nice. This Kevin with small man syndrome has a lot of balls trespassing on his neighbor's home and wanting to fight him. This is the type of crap that gets you shot easily these days. Who's the crackhead? You. Every time I step out of my house, why are you recording me? Because you're a crazy. You have my permission to record me. Put your phone Doesn't down. Doesn't matter. Put your phone down. Out in public, you can record anybody. You know what? You were f***ing mad dogging me in front of my house, bro. I'm asking you to come out. You play all these games, you pull your phone out. Because you're acting like an idiot. You're playing games. You're playing games, dude. What game? You call the cops, do what you gotta do, bro. Do what you gotta do. You are f***ing playing games, bro. You're a f***ing crackhead. Why are you zooming in on my face? I'm a crackhead? Why are you zooming in on my face? So Why are you playing games? I asked you to f I asked you to stop talking shit. Everybody else playing all these games. Ryan, come here. What? No, stop playing games. Come here. Stop playing games. Come what here. Dude, get off the property, dude. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna property, do? Man. Call the cops. Get, off the get property, that camera out of my face. I will. You keep on coming over here trying to start problems. I will. Call him. I will call him. Call him. Right now. Get off the property. Or I'm what? Or I'm what? I'm asking you to get off the property. Bro. Or what? I'm asking you to get off the property. Dude, you wanted to start a fight. It's you're right trespassing. here. Dude, it's right here. What are you talking about? Get that out Dude. of my face. You're, you're doing this passive aggressive bullshit. You don't Dude, want to fight, bro. I'm telling you. Call the cops. Call the cops. I'll wait for him. Dude, why are you why are you recording me? Why? You know what? Plus, what are you thinking? What happened to you, dude? Did you get a what happened to you? Injury? What happened to you? you? We are not friends. You're I'm recording me like an friend. idiot, bro. You're starting for no I'm reason than you... passive aggressively recording me. I've given you Stop talking. Stop talking. You have not given me anything. Stop. Twice. You are lying. You are lying. You are passive aggressively trying to start a fight. Dude, Call the cops. I have a camera get too. Get off the property, dude. You are what? Call the cops. Record your 40 year old man still living with your mother, man. You, hey, talk all this you want, bro. You wait till I walk away because you're a clown. Talk all this you want. You're not going to do anything, bro. Just remember that. Given the opportunity, you didn't do shit. Keep recording, buddy. Crackhead.